Hey, hey, what is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Angry J Gaming tutorial. <clears throat> Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install mods for American Truck Simulator in current version 1.43. Now, it doesn't really matter what version we're on, guys. It's the same concept on how to download mods from external websites and put them into game. The biggest difference is, guys, I made a video like this over a year and a half ago, and a lot has changed since then. So, let's go ahead guys let's get right into it once again i'm going to show you how to download mods from an external website and put them into your game american truck simulator all right guys let's get right into it first thing you need to do uh first thing you need to do guys is have a winrar or seven zip okay those are those are programs that will allow you to download big files and um you know take the stuff that's inside of them and put them in the game so without winrar or seven zip I prefer WinRAR, guys. You will not be able to do this. So you will need one of those two programs. I will probably put in the link of the video um, a link to WinRAR, which is what I use. <clears throat> First thing you want to do, guys, is get on Google uh, or however you want to do it and just look up ATS mods. Um, you know, I usually put in ATS mods current version, which is 1.43. So you can do that, guys, and it's going to bring up all kinds of different websites here. You've got ModSad, you've got ATSmods.net, ATSmods.lt. All kinds of different ones, guys. I don't download mods too much. That's really bright. I don't download mods too terribly much from external websites these days. Most of my stuff is paid for, but, you know, occasionally you want to find a, uh, a different truck or a different trailer. So I just clicked on the first one, guys, which is ATSmods.net. You guys can see that at the top of the screen. Now, all of these different websites, guys, you can see there's all kinds of them. Every one of these different websites are going to have the exact same stuff. Maybe one website has one truck that the other one doesn't, but give it time. That other website's going to have it. So find a website you like, maybe use the same one. Some of these, it does seem that the one website uses more ads than anything. Um, and that is the that is the bad part about these websites, guys. They're, you're not going to download a virus, but what you could end up doing is downloading some malware, or maybe it accidentally has you download... Um, you know, something to replace, you know, Google with or something, you know, like this. Sorry, guys, let me get rid of this real quick. Maybe it's going to have you download something that you did not even want. And, uh, you know, you don't want that. So I'm going to show you guys today how to avoid all that. Okay. So pick your website, whatever it is. Um, we're just going to go into uh, trucks here, guys. I know I'm kind of right in the way. There we go. So I just clicked on trucks. It's got all kinds of different stuff in here. And we're just going to start with this first one here. This is a, uh, a Freightliner Sentry in Columbia. Uh, C120 version 3.7 on ATS143. That is very important, guys. No matter, make sure you're downloading a truck or a trailer or, or a mod, whatever it is, that is on the correct version. Right now we are on 1.43. If you're watching this and we're on version 1.44, 1.45, whatever, make sure you're downloading the mod for your correct version. So there we go. We're gonna down. We're gonna click on this truck, and this is gonna tell us all about it, guys. There's a couple of pictures which are always nice. Um, it tells you kind of what they did sometimes, sometimes it doesn't, um, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes they have some comments in here. Sometimes they don't. So you want to download this truck. Okay. Don't just come in here and start clicking on stuff. Oh, download. I'm going to download that. Don't do that. If I was to click on this right now, it's probably going to have me download whatever face check is. Okay. I don't know what that is. Don't just click on download guys. Don't just start clicking on stuff anywhere you want. Kind of read through it. Like I said, these websites are a little bit different. Um, depending on, you know, where you're at. So typically you're looking for a download link. In this case, it says sharemods.com, um, which is what we want. Yeah, that, that's what we want. Like I said, you kind of have to read through here, you know, down here below, it's got some other stuff that you don't really need. Um, so you just kind of look around and I'll do a different website as well. So we're going to click right on this sharemods.com. Now, boom, this is one of the nicer ones, guys. So I clicked on the one link right here. And boom, it pops up a whole new page and it says how to download. Click button below. Download should start in second page. Once again, don't just start clicking here or clicking here or whatever. Create download link. Okay, this is what you want. Click on that. Now, you guys are going to say, what just happened? What just happened? What you did is you clicked on the link that you should have and it brings up google.com again. Okay, why does it do that? I don't know. They're trying to get you to do something that you don't need to do. But nonetheless, you guys look right below me. You see that we're downloading the mod right now. Guys, I clicked on that one link. It brought up a page that we don't need. I'm just going to exit the page that popped up. 
we're right back to where we were when it said create download link. So even though... Okay, all right. Sorry, guys. Sorry, that's one of the ads there. So even though... Uh, even though I lost my train of thought, even though it took us to a different page, guys, it's still downloading right here, right below me, guys. It is downloading the Freightliner right there. And as you can see, your download will begin in a few seconds. It's already downloading. So there you go. We're already downloading the Freightliner. Okay. <clears throat> so that's done. That's just one of the things they trick you with. It pops up a page that you don't need to get rid of it. Go back to the page. So let's jump over here, guys. I have a different website. This is a modhub.us. This is another place you guys can get mods. Um, and in this case, I'm going to click on trailers, guys. I think I already did, actually. Yeah, I did. So I'm going to click on a trailer. So we're going to put a truck and a trailer in the game. <clears throat> now, and these are going to be from two different websites, and hopefully this is a different way to download. Now, if you guys look below me down here, this uh, this Freightliner is still downloading. It's very bright. Very, very bright. So here, I want to download this, guys. This Wilson Pace Setter Trailer 1.43 for American Truck Simulator. So pretty easy. We're going to click on the download link. Once again, it's going to bring up a description of it, and it's going to bring up all of these ads. You guys heard that ad playing in the background? Make sure it's over. It is over. That's kind of what they do. That's kind of what they do. That's how. That's what. That's what they do, guys. These websites are free because they're selling advertisements. They want you guys to click on stuff, but you don't have to. So once again, here we are. We're looking at this trailer. Um, see right here. Look. Oh, download. Download right here. No, don't don't click on that. Okay, that's face cyber hearts. Blah 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 blah. Don't download on that or don't click on that. Scroll down. You see sharemods.com. Okay, that's a good sign. That's probably what we want, but we'll keep reading. Um, there's some comments on this one if you guys want to read the comments, whether it's a good mod or not. All right, yep, this is it. So, once again, make sure you click on the right link, sharemods.com. Once again, brings us back to the sharemods.com page. Just like last time, it says how to download. Click button below. Should start on second page. So, what's going to happen, guys? I'm going to click on this. It's probably going to pop up another page, which that's okay. And that's what it did. Once again, it brought up brought us back to Google. I don't know why, but it did. All I did was exit Google, guys, but look, it's downloading. In three, two, one. Boom. It should show up right here, right below me. There it is. So now we have our Freightliner Sentry downloading and our Wilson Pace Setter, guys. Both of our mods are now downloading. So that is that's it, guys. We downloaded the mods. That's it. You're done with the download. Next step is to put them into your game. Okay, now the Freightliner is still downloading. I'm not sure. It must be a pretty good sized file that it's still downloading. I have pretty good internet. So at this point, guys, there's a couple different ways that you can now get these mods into your game. Now, option number one, which I think is the easiest, is this Wilson Pace Setter is now downloading, or it's done downloading, excuse me. I'm just going to left click on it, guys, and I'm going to drag it, and I'm going to put it right there on my desktop. As you guys can see, it looks like a bunch of books, and it says type is a WinRAR archive, okay? That's what you have to have it in, a WinRAR or 7-Zip. If you guys are using 7-Zip, I hope it's the same. I don't know. I have mine in WinRAR, okay? So all I did to you guys was I grabbed it and dropped, drug it to my desktop and put it there. <clears throat> That's where you want it right now is on your desktop. Now, option number two. Click on your vanilla folder at the bottom of your screen, typically, okay? And go to your download section, guys. It's going to be right here in your download section. Maybe you accidentally lost this. No big deal. I clear all my downloads every time I download something, so this is it. The Wilson Pace Setter is right here. This other thing that says unconfirmed is going to be our Freightliner, so it's still not quite done, as you can see at the bottom. But if I wanted to, guys, I could just take this and then drop it right on my desktop. If I do that now, it's going to say it's already there. Do you want to replace it? Sure. Why not? So those are the two ways. You can just grab it, drop it. You can click on your vanilla envelope or your vanilla folder down here at the bottom of your screen or go to start menu and go that direction. Um, but find your downloads folder and it should be in there right there. Um, and don't forget, guys, if this video is helping you out, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It's over there. Sorry. Hit that subscribe button, guys. We're almost where we want to be. Also, make sure you come over to Facebook Gaming. I do stream American Truck Simulator two to three times a week um, going live with the best community on Facebook over on <laughs> best community on Facebook. So. Come check us out over there. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or you like the what I have to say. Thank you. Okay, so there it is, guys. It's done. The Freightliner is now done. I'm just going to click it and drag it right over there. We're going to get rid of that for now. And also, guys, we're just going to get rid of our internet. We don't need that anymore. Okay? So There we go. We got our Freightliner. We got our Wilson. Now, things at this point, 
We just have to get it in game, but there are a couple different ways that people get confused. Now, we want any file that goes into your game must be in .scs format. But sometimes that is a single link and it does and it says .scs, you put it in there, you're done. But sometimes it's a folder and it's a bunch of stuff. People get confused, okay? And I did it originally too. So to try to help you understand, we're going to open these are both zipped up right now, guys. These are big mod, these are big files that are zipped up. We're going to open one open them one at a time. So let's double click, double left click on our Freightliner. Now when I do this, this little please purchase WinWare comes up. You do not ever have to buy WinRAR, guys. I've been using it for two years. You do not have to buy it. You just have to get rid of the box every time it pops up. Now, as I just said, there are two different types, or these things open two different ways when you open them. This particular mod, guys, is already in .scs format. If I kind of hover over it, maybe, maybe. There we go. You see it does already say SCS file. So this mod is going to go into our mod folder exactly like it is, zipped up. Because if you left double click and open it, it has a bunch of files in there. So you're not going to you're not going to take all of these and put them in your mods folder. You're going to leave it exactly the way it is and put the entire thing in there. Now this one is not in SCS form. So same thing, I'm going to double left click on it that thing get rid of it and there it is guys now this is the dot scs file you guys see when i open it and it's one file so now we need to take this and put it on our desktop as well okay so there's that so this is the same mod zipped up okay all we did was open it come on all we did was open it and find the dot scs file and put it onto our desktop so this guys you don't need this anymore get rid of it do not need it boom it's gone so now we have two dot scs files if you click over or hover over them scs if you hover over them type scs there you go so now those two files are ready to go into game and just to recap if you ever open it and it looks like this put the entire file in the game it's ready to go okay so now how do i put mods into my game well you need to find your path your path is your lifeline Thank you, Criminal Justice on YouTube. Go check him out for Grand Theft Auto and a bunch of other tutorials, guys. Criminal Justice. The, <laughs> the pathway is your lifeline. I love that saying, buddy. So, you need to find your pathway to your game, American Truck Simulator. Um, if you've not done this before, you're probably going to have to go down to your hard drive on your PC, um, whether it's an H drive, C, whatever. Um, I believe mine is in my H drive, yeah. Um, H drive, um, nope, sorry, hold on. I always have a quick path, guys, so just give me one second. It's not on H drive. H drive, nope, C, C, nope, H, Steam, uh, yes, Steam apps, come on. Okay. And then, mods. nope, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I got a, oh, separate, sorry, documents, guys, documents. Good God, what am I doing? So go into your documents, guys. Go to American Truck Simulator. Sorry about that. My brain just got shot for a second. So uh, my documents, American Truck Simulator, and then mod. Okay, and this is my mod folder. Anytime you guys have a mod, this is where you put it, is in there. You guys can see I've got a lot in there, okay? So once again, oops, my documents, American Truck Simulator, mod. Boom, there it is. So now what we gotta do guys is take these two mods and put them into our game. Now I just wanna show you one trick guys. One thing you definitely don't wanna do is take a mod and put it over top of another mod by accident, okay? So I always drop them over here in this gray space so I make sure that I'm not putting a mod on top of a mod. So there I just dropped that in there, sorry. And there it is, the Wilson Pace Setter. So I'm gonna do the same thing to the Freightliner, take it, Drag it and let go. And there it is. Freightliner Century, of Colum Century Columbia. It's in there. That is it. We've downloaded the mod. We've installed the mod. It's time to go check to see if it's there. So now you can close your mod folder. You don't need that anymore. Um, if you plan to do this a lot, you might go through and pin that folder maybe. You know, American, uh, excuse me, documents, American Truck Simulator, 
You can right click on mod and say pin to quick access if you want. Um, that's kind of where mine is. It's right here already. You can do that if you want to. Kind of a quick, easy way. Either way, guys, we are ready to go. Um, so I'm going to go into my Steam Workshop and I'm going to open up American Truck Simulator. Let's go. <clears throat> How you guys doing today, by the way? Hope you're having a good day. All right, SCS Software, American Truck Simulator, yay, yay, yay. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna use a different profile here, guys. That I don't use very much. Um, so pick a, pick your profile that you want, guys, and go to your mod manager because now that we've put it in the game, we have to turn the mod on. Okay, I haven't used this in a while, so let me just get rid of all this stuff. Sorry, I should have done this to begin with. So there they are, guys. Okay, this is the mod manager, okay? Now, this is your active mods. As you can see, we have zero mods active right now. So any mod that you want to use, you must take from this side and put it over here. I want, now, there's about the easiest way to do that, guys, is just left double click. You see now that just turned that to active. I just hovered over the mod. I left click twice, and it's now over here. Now, if you guys are using a mod like Dom's Diesel and Chrome, I highly recommend this truck. There is a mod order and it does matter because there's four different files to make that one mod work. When you download his truck, it comes with a load order. Make sure that you are putting your mod in the correct load order, especially a John Ruda mod. He's got like seven or eight different files. Put them in the correct order. They will not work. These two mods are by themselves or they're, excuse me, they're one file. So it doesn't matter. So if you have a mod and it doesn't show that it's active, and you message me and say, why is my mod not working? And I say, is it active? And you say, no. There you go. Make sure that it's active. All right, so we're good. We're going to confirm changes. To changes. And we're going to continue to game. Now, we should have in our mod, uh, excuse me, in our truck and trailer dealership, we should now have a Freightliner and a, uh, and a, new, uh, a new trailer. So all this stuff, guys, because I took all those mods out, it's just saying that it's missing dependencies. That's okay. All I did was take the mods out that I did not want to use. So no problem. Just hit continue. Totally fine. Oh, I've got two frame counters now. Wonderful. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. I tried to make this quick, but I rambled on. Come on, game load. There we go. Um, so now, guys, we should have a... So now you want to buy your truck, right? So you're going to go to your truck dealer. And now you should have access mod dealer. If you guys do not have any mods into your game, this will not be available. But now that we have mods, we can click on access mod dealer. And there we go. This is a pretty cool, excuse me. This is a pretty cool mod guys. You get a, a C120 Columbia or a C120, C120 century. That's pretty dang cool. I know nothing about this mod. I don't know if it's good. I don't know if it's bad. I just grabbed it. Looks pretty cool. I might actually use this. I don't know. So there's our trailer, right? Excuse me. There's our truck right there. You guys can click on it, customize it. Sorry. Click on it, customize it. Whatever you want to do, there it is. Um, let's go check our trailer. So we're going to back all the way out to trailer purchase. And now you can see we've got a, instead of standard trailers, we have a Wilson trailer section, which is our pace setter that we downloaded. And there it is. Looks pretty cool. Um, again, all kinds of options. These are some pretty good mods, guys. I just grabbed them. I have no nothing about these mods that look pretty nice. I don't know. We'll see. Now, that's it, guys. You are done. If you just want to go play, great. A little bit of knowledge for you, though, before you go. Let's say you just put a mod in your game, and you start your game up, and your game crashes. Okay? It's the mod, guys. Okay, a lot of mods, even though they come over, you downloaded them, they seem to work, but they crash your game, <clears throat> get rid of it. If you have just put a mod into your game, I don't care what it is, you've just changed it and you start your game and your game crashes, it's the mod, guys. Get rid of it. Nine out of ten issues with this game are mod-related, okay? So just a little quick advice from uh, from your old pal Angry Jay on that, guys. Nine out of ten problems are mod-related. Get rid of the mods. Get rid of the mods. It'll fix your game. Anyways, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys so much. If this video did help you, please hit that subscribe button. Put a little comment at the bottom, hit the little thumbs up, and come check us out, guys, on Facebook with the best community on uh, on Facebook, guys. All right, until next time, I'm out of here. See ya!